Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with mgrmusic.com and in this video today we're going to look at the difference between resonance and presence on your Blackstar amp and we're going to learn a little bit about these features and what they do. The amp I'm using in this video is the Silverline Deluxe which you're hearing mic'd up with a Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser microphone. So if you've seen the resonance and presence control on your Blackstar amps and you're wondering what they do, an easy way to think about this is that they're just an extension of the EQ section of the amplifier. The only difference being the typical three band EQ, so your bass, middle and treble, that's your preamp EQ. The resonance and presence are power amp EQ. By power amp EQ, I mean what happens after the initial preamp stage. So once you've dialed in your tone using the bass, middle and treble, you can then use the resonance and presence controls to EQ the output stage of the amplifier. So if you think back to when we talked about the TVP responses in a previous video, using the resonance and presence control, you can really fine tune those responses to sound like whatever amplifier you want to sound like. So we're gonna kick off with the resonance control. The resonance control controls the bass response of the entire power stage of the amplifier. So if we look at the top panel of the amp here, I've got the resonance and presence both set straight up to 12 o'clock. The basic tone I'm using is the EL34 response on the clean warm voice. I've got the three band EQ set straight up to 12 o'clock and the ISF is in the British side. So here's how the amp sounds with the resonance and presence straight up at midnight. So it's a pretty good basic tone, but if I now decrease the resonance all the way, what I'm actually doing is I'm reducing the overall output of the bass across the entire amplifier. So this is gonna give me a tighter, slightly more percussive sound. This is great for those funk riffs. If I really want to warm the tone up, I can push that resonance control up to full. Now you may not set it this extreme normally, but this is just to show you the entire range of what the pot does. So what you're now going to hear is a much fuller, much warmer sound. It's not going to be a sharp or percussive sounding. This tone will still work for funk, but because of the additional bass hump that you're now going to hear from the amp, it does lend itself a little bit better to picking through chords or playing single note lead lines. <laughs> the super crunch channel to dial in an overdriven tone. So I'm keeping all the settings the same. I've put the resonance and presence back to 12 o'clock and here's how that's gonna sound. <laughs> If we turn the resonance all the way down on the overdrive channel, we're going to hear a similar thing to the clean channel. The bass is going to be less present, but it's going to be much tighter and focused. <laughs> push the resonance all the way up, we're going to get a very bass heavy and resonant sound. So as you can see there, we can really shape the low end and how the low end feels. With the resonance set low, you get this real tight, percussive low end sound. This is great if you're playing funk or metal. And if you push the resonance all the way up, you get this natural kind of low end compression and sag, similar to a tube amp pushed really loudly. This is perfect for classic rock and blues playing. Now we're gonna look at the presence control. The presence control does a similar sort of thing to the resonance, but this time we're talking about the high frequencies of the amp. So we'll start with using the exact same clean tone as before on the clean warm channel, but this time I'm gonna push the presence all the way down to zero. The resonance is set straight back up at 12 o'clock to reset the amp. <laughs> Thank you. 
If I now increase the presence control all the way to full, we're gonna hear a much more aggressive, biting top end to that same tone. <laughs> So again, that really just dials in the extra attack at the very top end of the frequency range. So now I've gone back to my overdriven tone, here's how the presence sounds straight up the middle at 12 o'clock. So now we're gonna take the presence all the way down to zero. What we're now gonna hear is the same overdriven tone, but with a massive high-end cut. So you can definitely hear the cut to the high frequencies there. Now we're gonna take the presence all the way up to 10. Now we're going to hear a much brighter and more aggressive overdriven tone. So there you go guys, there is a brief overview of what the resonance and presence control do on your Blackstar amp. You can really use these two features to fine tune the low and high end of the power amp stage of your Silverline or of any other Blackstar product that has these two features built in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let us know down below in the comments what you thought and how you guys have used these controls to really fine tune your tone. And don't forget to let us know down below in the comments if there are any other features of your Blackstar amps you want us to talk about in these videos. We can't wait to hear from you, so please let us know. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please go and check out mgrmusic.com. It's a network of great teachers all over the country waiting to help you guys out. And don't forget to go over to the Blackstar Amplification YouTube channel for more videos just like this where we explore a bunch of other features on all the Blackstar amps in the range. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon.